You're gonna learn how to install, set up, configure and use satellite digital channels on your computer and cell phone by the end of this video tutorial. Stay tuned. Hey so fellows, Dexic Pro with another one. This video tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to watch digital satellite TV channels by Technisat SkyStars 2 PCI card. As we all know, receiving satellite signals needs hardware requirements such as dish, LMB, switch, coaxial cable, BNC connector, and eventually the receiver itself. In this scenario, I have my dish, LMB and the switch already set up for the satellite direction of Yahsat on the roof and needs to be connected to the receiver by cable. The difference here is the type of receiver device that is not traditional but the DVB PCI card one which is only designed to be used on computers with powerful features and options. SkyStars 2 by Technisat company is designed for the reception of SDTV and HDTV channels on computers. You simply install it on one of the PCI slots of your PC's motherboard and connect the coaxial cable with the BNC connector to the back port of it, then I can say you're all set for the hardware installation. The next step is software installation configuration, which is the driver of SkyStars 2 and ProcDVB application to scan, watch and share satellite channels. Alrighty, the DVB card is installed on the PCI slot of motherboard on my PC. I already downloaded the driver from Technisat official website and it's time to install it. So I run the setup exe file. I hit installation, live in English, wait for process, next, yes, leave the destination default, next, next, again, ok it's done and better to restart the machine now. Alright, PC is rebooted and it's time to check if SkyStars 2 is being recognized by Windows Device Manager. Right click on my computer. Make a properties. Click on Device Manager upper left corner. Find the network adapters cause this device looks and acts like the one. Click on plus button to expand and here we go, it's recognized. It also looks up and running which means it's totally ready to use. Great. Now I close them all to get back to the desktop. Here's the shortcut of installed software set up for PC. So I run it. Then hit on close. We need it running in the background so it's still here not completely closed. You can double check it in taskbar which it is running right now. Alright, now it's time to download DVB viewing software which in my case I'm gonna download and install ProcDVB. Just go to ProcDVB.com and download it. Ok, now time for installation plus configuration. Click on setup exe. Next. I agree. Leave the destination alone. Next. I leave it standard settings for all users. Next. Choose the device from the drop down list as Technisat SkyStar 2 WGM. Uncheck the internet TV, radio, YouTube cause we don't need them at all. Then click on next. Leave it alone. Click on next. I prefer to disable timesheet buffer to preserve the size of RAM and avoid some of the issues like latency. So I select disabled. Click on next. Prog media server is needed here as the vital one cause I wanna use my computer as a server to share satellite channels with my laptop and android phone later on this video tutorial. And we also need MPEG2 codec to watch channels with this standard codec to broadcast. We don't need ProcDVB service. We don't need trade tool either. So I leave these settings alone and hit uninstall. Now let's run it. Disable the YouTube. Select Skies 2 TV PCI. Click on Add Switch cause I have a switch installed for two LMBs on the roof but I'm gonna set up only one set for this tutorial. So I select my switch type which is Dissect version 1 with 4 ports. Click on OK. 
Here is our switch. My dish is already set up for Yahsat and connected to the port number 3. So I select the third one. Double click. And from satellite drop down list, I go for 52.5 degrees Y1A, which is Yahsat. Click on OK and OK again. Now it asks to scan and search for channels. So I click yes, then it starts to find satellite channels and add them to the list. So I wait till the scanning is finished. Cool, now we're good to go. I can watch Yahsat channels on my PC from now on. Let's test it by searching CNN International Channel. Just type the name and here we go. Now time to watch these channels on my laptop instead. Of course, my laptop, PC and phone are connected to my DSL router which means they're on the same network. So I'm gonna use this PC as the server. Laptop and cell phone will be acting like the clients. First, I need to configure the server IP address in ProgDVB by going to Service, ProgMedia Server Home, click on Network tab. Select the network card of my PC which is 192.168.1.100. Click on Apply, click on OK. Now ProgDVB is acting as a server and just started to serve all of my clients on the network. Let's get back to my laptop and configure it there. Ok, I need to install ProgDVB here again but this time as a client, not the server. Click on the same setup exe file we already downloaded and installed on PC minutes ago. Ok. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Uncheck them all except client for ProgMedia server. Next. Next. Way to finish. Click on finish. Let's run it. Go to settings, TV sources. Click on dissect switch positioner in advanced mode. Disable the YouTube. Type the IP address of ProcDVB server which is the address of my PC that starts with 192.168.1.100. Then click on OK and OK again. It suddenly scans the channel list from the server now and here they are. Let's watch CNN International from here too. I search the name, click on boom, here we go. We have CNN on both PC and laptop simultaneously so far. You can even change the channels from here on server which is totally cool and interactive. You can do a lot with the Proc DVB to watch satellite channels on your computer and now it's time to watch it on my Android phone. You should just heard me right, let's watch that channels on Android. Okie doke, get on Google Play Store and search for Proc TV, then download and install it. Run the app, give it access permission. Select Proc DVB client, assign the IP address of the PC which is 192.168.1.100. Click on update, then click on OK. That's it, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get back and go to channel list. Tap on Proc DVB client to expand channel list. Search for CNN International. And here we go, ladies and gents. Now I'm watching CNN satellite channel through three different devices. My PC, my laptop, my cell phone. You can add more devices by the same process that I walk you through if I want so. But I reckon that's enough because you got a point, didn't you? Of course you did. So enjoy watching satellite channels free of charge and without internet connection on all of your devices at your place and that's the end of this video tutorial. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and have a good one.